The Department of Defense's Special Operations Command, or SOCOM, recently announced that an initial contract worth $170 million was awarded to L3 Harris Technologies and Air Tractor for the AT-802U Skywarden single-engine prop plane. The aircraft will be used by operators such as Delta Force and the Navy SEALs. The deal is interesting for a number of reasons. First, although it contains provisions for up to 75 aircraft that could make the contract worth upwards of $3 billion, the initial cost for six planes is about the equivalent of two F-35 fighter jets. So it's basically the DOD's version of a value pack buy. Secondly, the history of the plane offers some perspective on the benefits of not always trying to reinvent the wheel. An earlier iteration of the aircraft served as a sort of crop duster albeit not the kind that might first come to mind. Going back about 30 years, the two-seat aircraft's design made it perfect for missions targeting coca plants in South America. Coca, of course, carries an infamous psychoactive alkaloid called cocaine. Over time, not surprisingly, those attempting to grow the coca weren't too happy about these crop dusters killing their prized plants, and they began shooting back at the planes. This led to lightweight armor and weaponry being added to the Skywarden's design. Circling back to present needs, SOCOM sought an affordable, crewed aircraft with the ability to support surveillance and reconnaissance in permissive environments. Translating the military speak, the ideal plane didn't need to survive a Top Gun-esque dogfight at 40,000 feet, but rather provide a modular aircraft design that's easy to fly, has the ability to take off and land on improvised runways, and can accommodate a variety of weapon systems. Basically, it needs to emulate the get-in and get-out missions of the highly trained troops who will be using it. This last feature has been definitely addressed, with the new Skywarden's wings designed to carry 500-pound bombs, small missiles, 50-cal machine guns, or 20-millimeter cannons. In total, it can handle an armored payload of over 8,000 pounds. L3 Harris expects production to begin in 2023. I'm Jeff Ranke, and this is IAN Now.